How to use Zendrop for Shopify dropshipping step-by-step dropshipping tutorial. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. So I bring you back with yet another tutorial video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can use Zendrop dropshipping for your Shopify. So Throughout this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Shopify, how to set up Zendrop dropshipping on your Shopify, how to work around with Zendrop. I'm going to show you how to sign up with Zendrop, and then we're going to work out how to use the dropshipping for dropshipping your products. Now, before getting into all that, we're going to need to discuss what dropshipping really is. So, dropshipping. Dropshipping is a form of retail business wherein the seller accepts customer orders without keeping stock on hand. So basically what happens is let's say I am the seller and I have an order. It's a custom order and uh, it's an order which is in some type of a warehouse and basically uh, I'm going to drop ship that item. You're going to buy that item from me and I'm going to drop ship it uh, through any type of retailer that costs me the least amount of money. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to basically ship it to you in the quickest way possible. That is drop shipping and that is how drop shipping works. So uh, you can check out different types of drop shipping if you want to. Uh, there are many drop shippings. You can uh, use drop shipping uh, with, uh, let's say, AliExpress. You can use it with eBay, or you can using dropshipping.com. Uh, but today, what we're gonna use is Zendrop. Now, Zendrop is known as the number one drop shipping app, and we can obviously see that it is well advertised. And we can also see the reviews down here. If you want to, it's totally upon you. So uh, before getting into Zendrop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Shopify page. Now for the Shopify page, what we're going to want to do is I'm going to show you how to create a Shopify page. Now to create a Shopify, you're going to go to Shopify.com and over here, you're going to click on get started. You're going to start with any type of custom email. So you can use a temporary email if you like, or you can just use your a legit email. And from there on out, you're gonna sign in, uh, or you're gonna sign up. And once you've signed up, it's gonna ask details about your store and where you're gonna do with your store, where your store location is. It's gonna ask you to add payment methods, the shipping address, or what the store is about. Basically, it's gonna optimize your store according to the details you give it. And once you do all that, it's going to make your store for you. And uh, once all that happens, your store should look something like this. I'm just going to log into one of my stores. Uh, let's log into this one. So basically, when you log into your store, and it's going to give you a custom domain like this one, the one I have right now, like this one. So yeah, once you log into your store, uh, it's gonna look something like this. This is what your home page and main dashboard is supposed to look like. So obviously you're gonna need to have a, a full account because there are trials for a Shopify store. So if you don't have a full account, you should get a full account because Shopify is a great WooCommerce or an e-commerce uh, platform. So once you create your store on the left hand side over here, you're going to see uh, different uh, features and functions and you're going to have to click on apps. Once you click on apps, you're going to write Zendrop on it. And from there on out, it's just really easy. You're going to connect it like an add on on your Shopify. Now, once your Zendrop is connected to your Shopify, then you're going to come to Zendrop.com. And once you're on Zendrop.com, you're going to sign up. Now we're just going to wait for this to load. Now once it loads, you're going to put in your information. You're going to put in your password. Uh, you're going to put in your contact details. There we go. And preferred contact, you're going to put in your phone number to verify yourself. Preferred contact method, you're going to put in if it's going to text message, email. I'm just going to put an email for now and then I'm going to sign up. Now, once we sign up, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to send us a verification email. And over here, it gives us fast action bonus upgrade to a free seven day trial. Now, you can start a free seven day trial if you want to, or you can just come down here and uh, check these great features that Zandrop provides us. Or what you can do is just skip all of this 
and just click on no thanks, I'm not interested, and get right into the Zendrop main page. Now once you're on the Zendrop main page, you can either connect it to your Shopify using this place, or it can automatically give you a message right here. Like it says, connect your store to Zendrop. Now you can connect it to your Shopify, which is what we're here for, or you can connect it to your WooCommerce or Commerce HQ. These are also great e-commerce websites, but we're here for Shopify. So you're just gonna click on Shopify, and you're gonna put in your Shopify web page. You're gonna connect it, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna redirect you to your Shopify. From there on out, it's just gonna ask for verification. And once you do that, you connect it, and it's all it's all good from there. So uh, what's gonna happen is uh, obviously you're gonna connect your store. If you can't connect your store, you can just add in any kind of random email. It doesn't really matter or you can just uh, log out if it doesn't allow you to. So once we're here, we're gonna write in our Shopify store. We're gonna connect it right in. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna take us to our Shopify store, as I told you. And from here on out, you're gonna connect it. For that, you're gonna install the app. Now once you've installed it, first of all, it's totally free to install Zendrop to your Shopify. It's just as if it's a Google add-on. Now once you install it and use it as a Google add-on, what that's going to do is it's going to successfully connect your Zendrop to your Shopify and from here on out you can start your drop shipping as you like. Now for drop shipping, obviously you're going to have to choose products that match the vibe or the aesthetic of your Shopify store. So you can just uh, go ahead and see uh, all the categories. Now you can choose these filters for your products. You can ship from anywhere or you can ship from US or China, depending on what location you're closer to, because obviously if it's further, it's gonna cost you more money. You can check the categories, all the suppliers, the price range, you can put all of that in, or you can just go over here and shop trends and check all these things out. Now as it's connected to your store you can check your dashboards your import list your import products you can check your orders from here check your brandings aliexpress imports or whatever but what you're mostly going to be using is fine products because here you're going to get your products and so let's say you want to shop different trends that are going on nowadays so let's say I like this product, okay? I like this product, this is the Japanese Akatsuki logo. It's a very cool cap with the Naruto reference on it, the Akatsuki logo. I'm gonna click on add to import list and it's gonna just add it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check more products. Like let's say I like these headphones as well. I'm gonna add those two. Let's say I like this hoodie as well. I'm gonna add that. And let's say I like these rings. So I'm just going to add these and now once you've added your products, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your import list over here in the left hand side. And from here on out, you're going to check all these products that you just added to your import list. You can check the descriptions. This is the great thing about uh, Zendrop is it also imports the descriptions for these products to your store. So you're going to check the descriptions. You're going to check the different variants it brings to your store. And once you've done all that, you can check the images it also brings. And once you like what you see, you're just going to click on import store. You're going to see all this and you're just going to click on confirm. Now, if it can be added, you can talk to support. Shopify does not allow more than 100 variants. Now, obviously, this gives me 100 variants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the product because it's just not uh, going. So we're going to add these. If I like them, I'm going to click on import store. And if I like this, I'm going to click on import store. I like this, I'm going to click on import store. What's going to happen is the product gets imported onto our Shopify page. Now, obviously, uh, it takes a while, but once it's imported, it's going to come to your imported products. Now, to see it on your Shopify store, you're going to come here and you're going to click on products. And once you click on products, look at this. The products that we just imported from our Zendrop and drop shipping. It got imported to our Shopify and from here on out we can put it to our pages uh, where we have our web store page and over here you can see it gives the whole uh, variance and description and everything and this is how you do drop shipping using Zendrop drop shipping with your Shopify. 
So yeah, that's how basic and easy it was. If you have any issues regarding the video, let me know down in the comments. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to see you next time. Uh, and I hope you all have a great day. Goodbye.